The Iowa State football team was looking for their second straight Big 12 win as they received their first one last week, knocking off Texas Tech 41-7 down in Lubbock. Cyclones were hosting the winless in conference play Kansas Jayhawks, and the Cyclone defense came out early, stopping Kansas on its first possession. A nice punt by Kansas pinned the Iowa State offense deep in their own end zone, but that didn't last long as Jared Barnett busted a 31-yard run and gave Iowa State some breathing room. That drive eventually, however, stalled, and Zach Geyer converted a 32-yard field goal to give Iowa State an early 3-0 lead. On the Jayhawks' next possession, they marched right down the field, and D.J. Bashir busted a 22-yard run, and now the Jayhawks had a 7-3 lead as we ended the first quarter. Throughout the second quarter, both teams were looking for a big play, and it seemed the Iowa State defense produced one as A.J. Klein scooped up a lateral and returned it for six for Iowa State. However, the play did go under review, and the officials ruled that the Kansas quarterback did throw the ball across the line, and he gave the ball back to the Jayhawks. The Cyclones' next drive saw Jared Barnett run the offense right down the field, and Aaron Horn received this reverse pass and refused to go down as he shed tacklers, and Iowa State now had a 10-7 lead as we headed to halftime. In the second half, the Jayhawks had multiple chances to tie or take the lead. However, the Iowa State defense rose up and kept Kansas off the scoreboard by blocking this field goal attempt to maintain a 10-7 Cyclone lead. Late in the third quarter, however, Kansas did manage to get back on the board as Ron Doherty converted a 19-yard field goal, and we're all knotted up 10-10. Iowa State continued to fight on both sides of the ball, and late in the fourth quarter, Zach Geyer converted a 42-yard field goal, and now Iowa State had a 13-10 lead. It is now time for the defense to step up and preserve the win, and that's exactly what they did. This sack right here by Steven Rumpelheimer sealed the deal for Iowa State, and the offense handed the ball to Jeff Woody just to run out the clock. And the rest is history as Iowa State picked up its second straight Big 12 conference win, taking down Kansas 13-10. A bye week comes up for Iowa State, and then they got number two Oklahoma State, a Friday night game on ESPN inside Jack Trice Stadium.